Have you ever wondered how the colorful, vibrant nation of Argentina came to be? Our journey begins with the first inhabitants of this vast land, the indigenous people. The story of Argentina is a tapestry woven with threads of diverse cultures and civilizations, each leaving their indelible mark on the land and its people. In the beginning, Argentina was inhabited by scattered tribes of nomadic hunter-gatherers, each with their unique traditions and ways of life. The Gorani, the Diaguita, and the Pampas. These were just a few of the many tribes that called this land home. They lived in harmony with nature, their lives beautifully intertwined with the rhythms of the earth and the sky. But change was on the horizon. In the early 16th century, Spanish explorers set foot on Argentine soil for the first time. Drawn by tales of a mythical land of silver, they braved treacherous seas and unknown lands in search of fortune and glory. The arrival of these Spanish conquistadors marked a pivotal moment in Argentina's history, a moment that would forever alter the course of its future. The Spanish established their first permanent settlement in Buenos Aires in 1580. This was the dawn of a new era, an era of Spanish colonial rule. The culture, the language, the religion of the conquerors gradually seeped into the fabric of Argentine society, forever changing its complexion. The indigenous population, on the other hand, found their lives upended by this sudden intrusion. Their once peaceful existence was now marred by conflict and hardship. Many were forced into labor, their lands usurped, their cultures suppressed. And yet the spirit of the indigenous people endured, their resilience a testament to their indomitable will. The Spanish colonies continued to grow and expand, their influence reaching far and wide. They laid the groundwork for what would eventually become one of Latin America's most influential nations. The seeds of modern Argentine society were sown in this period of colonial rule, a time of conflict and change, of struggle and survival. Thus, the foundation of modern Argentina was laid under the shadow of colonial rule. The story of Argentina's dawn is one of resilience and transformation, a testament to the enduring spirit of its people. Their journey is far from over, and as we delve deeper, we'll uncover the many twists and turns that have shaped Argentina's vibrant history. But how did this Spanish colony break its shackles to become an independent nation, you might wonder? Well, the answer lies in the courage and determination of the Argentine people, who were not afraid to fight for their freedom. The 19th century marked a tumultuous period in Argentina's history. The Spanish rule was deeply entrenched, but the winds of change were blowing. The year 1810 saw the beginning of the end for the Spanish reign, with the onset of the May Revolution. This was not a single event, but a series of political and social changes that led to the overthrow of the Spanish Viceroy. The Argentine people were tired of the Spanish rule, and the May Revolution was their first step towards freedom. This period of revolution was characterized by a collective spirit of defiance against the Spanish rulers. Key figures emerged during this time, individuals who were willing to risk everything for the dream of an independent Argentina. One such figure was José de San Martín, a military leader who played a crucial role in the fight for independence. His leadership and strategic acumen were instrumental in the eventual victory against the Spanish. The fight for freedom was not easy, and it was not without its challenges. It took six long years of relentless struggle before Argentina could finally declare its independence. On the 9th of July, 1816, a Congress of Representatives from various provinces gathered in Tucumán. There, they made the bold decision to sever ties with Spain, marking the birth of an independent Argentina. This was a momentous occasion, a triumph for the Argentine people. They had fought bravely and had finally won their freedom. But this was only the beginning. The newly independent nation had to navigate its way through the trials and tribulations of nation building. So, Argentina had won its independence, but the path to stability was far from smooth. The coming years would bring their own set of challenges as Argentina embarked on its journey towards becoming the vibrant and diverse nation that we know today. How did Argentina navigate the complex currents of the 20th century? Let's dive in. The 20th century was a roller coaster ride for Argentina filled with dramatic twists and turns. 
the country grappled with political upheavals, military dictatorships, and economic crises, all while striving to uphold the rights and liberties of its people. In the early decades, Argentina was relatively prosperous, buoyed by the booming agricultural export industry. However, the Great Depression of the 30s hit Argentina hard, leading to social unrest and political instability. The mid-century saw the rise of Juan Perón, a charismatic leader whose populist policies appealed to the working class. Alongside his wife Evita, he championed labor rights and social welfare. However, his rule was marked by authoritarianism and economic mismanagement, leading to his eventual ousting in a military coup. The 70s and 80s were dark times for Argentina, as the country fell under the grip of a brutal military dictatorship. Known as the Dirty War, this period was marked by widespread human rights abuses, including forced disappearances and torture. In the midst of this turmoil, Argentina found itself embroiled in the Falklands War with the United Kingdom. The conflict over a remote uh, archipelago claimed by both nations ended in defeat for Argentina. This loss further eroded the credibility of the dictatorship and contributed to its eventual downfall. Despite these hardships, Argentina's people never lost their spirit. The mothers of Plaza de Mayo, a group of women whose children were disappeared during the Dirty War, became powerful symbols of resistance and the fight for justice. Their tireless efforts helped to bring about the end of the military regime and the return of democracy. The 20th century was undoubtedly a tumultuous time for Argentina, but through it all the country displayed remarkable resilience. Political change, economic fluctuations, and social upheaval all shaped the nation, but they did not break it. Despite its trials and tribulations, Argentina emerged from the 20th century with a renewed sense of identity and purpose. A nation's history is written by its people, and the people of Argentina have proven time and again their capacity to confront adversity and forge ahead. So, where does that leave Argentina today? In this vibrant modern era, Argentina is a nation that hums with energy and potential. The echoes of its tumultuous past are woven into the fabric of Argentina's present, shaping its culture, economy, and international standing. Its culture is a colorful tapestry of influences, from the passionate tango danced in the streets of Buenos Aires to the indigenous art and traditions alive in its northern provinces. The economy of Argentina, once a powerhouse of South America, is gradually regaining its strength, driven by industries such as agriculture, manufacturing, and services. The nation's place in the world is evolving too, as it navigates its role within both regional and global political landscapes. Argentina's history, with all its highs and lows, has forged a nation of resilient, enduring people. The spirit of the Argentinians is as indomitable as the Andes that guard their western flank. A nation shaped by its past, Argentina stands today as a testament to resilience, endurance, and the indomitable spirit of its people.